A while ago, I made a video about really strange time signatures like 5, 7, and 3.75 over 4, and stuff like that. Anyway, at the end of that video, I made a beat, and I have now fleshed that beat out into a full song. So, there's even weirder stuff in the, in the full song now, and I want to talk about that, so I'm going to show you that. And then also, there was some confusion from last video about certain things, um, and I want to talk more about that as well. Let's get into it. Strange Times is available on iTunes, Spotify, all those places if you want to go listen to it there. Let's talk about that shaker, okay? It was actually a kibasa, technically it sampled a kibasa, uh, but, but we'll call it a shaker. Anyway, the shaker, when it comes in, it kind of changes what the time signature is. Um, it basically transforms it from 3.754 to actually just 4.4, 4, but with the last beat sped up by one-third by 33 percent which is really weird um, it, it achieves the same length of measure and it kind of has a very very similar feel um, because you could you could interpret it actually as those those like faster four notes of the shaker at the end of each measure as a quadruplet over the three sixteenth notes of that last measure. So, um, if you aren't like, if you aren't like sure what I'm talking about with 3.754, basically it's one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and one. So it's skipping the last sixteenth note of a four four measure. It's it feels really weird, and I get that, and I've listened to that song like at least a hundred times while composing and mixing and whatever. Um, and so it probably feels a lot more normal to me than it does to you, and it still feels weird. It still feels really weird to me. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's just, it's this new kind of thing. I mean, it's not, like, changing tempo is not new, obviously, but changing tempo as part of the time signature, that's something I've never seen before. Um, and, yeah, that's the kind of, like, even weirder thing. Anyway. Let's talk about the confusion from the last video. So, basically, the question was, is it in 1516 or 3.754? I said it was in 3.754. A lot of people were like, hey, that's in 1516. That's not actually irrational. What you talking about? And, yes, I think that it is totally valid to say that it's in 1516. However, I don't feel like it's in 1516 because I just don't feel like it is. And that's the thing is that time signatures are not fractions, right? 6, 8, and 3, 4 are theoretically the same thing. Um, but 
people agree that they're not actually the same thing, they feel different. And for me, that song feels like it's in 4-4 with the last 16th note cut off. Like, it's, it feels like 4-4 with the last beat cut short. Okay, and when the kibasa comes in, the shaker comes in, it's it's definitely not in 1516 at that point. Now here's the thing, is that the kind of general pattern that you see with the bottom number of time signatures is that an 8 or a 16 is basically telling you those beats per measure aren't really the beats, those are the subdivisions, but because our notation system is built off of subdivisions of two and only two, uh, you can't really convey that unless you want to use tuplets for the entire song, and nobody wants to use tuplets for the entire song, so they make something like 12-8, right? Very frequently, uh, more often than not, 12-8 is really 4-4 four, four with a triplet subdivision, but we don't have a way to say triplet subdivision without using tuplets, and so basically you say, oh, there's 12 beats per measure, but then you put an 8 on the bottom to convey that those 12 beats per measure are actually subdivisions and the real beats are, are uh, a beat of 4. Okay? And I get that sometimes 12, 12-8 12 is actually 12, um, and sometimes it's not felt at all as 4 with a triplet feel. It's, sometimes it's not felt like that, but it very often is, and that's, that's essentially kind of a way to work around the fact that we don't have any other subdividing besides 2 um, in Western musical notation. I think that Jacob Collier's idea of just having another number on the top is good and we should just do that, uh, but that's, that's kind of how you would do it when you don't have that option to do subdivision. And that bottom number being that means that what you can do is have a 16 down there to basically tell you, oh, it's a second layer subdivision. So if 8 is telling you it's a subdivision, then I guess 16 would logically be telling you that it's a second layer subdivision. So um, a second layer subdivision would be like 16th notes in a 4-4 four, four time. So you see where I'm going with this is that if you're saying 15-16 for my, my track there, at least before the kibasa comes in, um, then yeah, that's totally fine, because you're saying that those 15 beats are actually the second layer subdivision, which they are. They are the 16th notes, so I think that 15-16 or 3.754, they both work great, and I think they both work fine. However, again, I just feel like it's in 3.754, because I cannot count that in 15. I tried. <laughs> I tried to count it in 15. I just can't count to 15 that fast. Um, you know, it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, like, I can't count that fast. That, that's, that's probably the biggest reason why I say it's 3.754, because it's a lot easier to go 1 and a 2 and a 3 and a 4 and a, than it is to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, you know? Um, and, yeah, but, but, yeah, so 15, 16 works fine. During that video, the, 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 the big thing that people were saying, though, was that, like, that video was about irrational time signatures, and 15, 16 is not an irrational time signature, so they're like, whoa! That song is not in an irrational meter. And here's the deal, is that that video really was split into two halves. The first half was about irrational time signatures. The second half was just, let's find the weirdest thing that we can. <laughs> and so I kind of springboarded off of irrational time signatures to do that. And I definitely was lacking a bit of cohesion, I guess, as I was making it. And I didn't realize that 3.754 would translate to 1516. Um, as I was making it so you know I definitely was was not like I didn't have this all planned um, I think I'm realizing a lot about that video after the fact um, just like everybody else is yeah um, the other thing is that if I had made it like properly 1415 translated into something four, where that would be 3.733333 etc four. Um, the difference between that and 3.754 is imperceptible so I mean yeah I, I could have I could have told y'all that it was in 3.7334 and you know it would have worked fine because it's just an imperceptible difference less than 1 50th of a beat is what you're talking about there um, so yeah hope you enjoyed this uh, as much as I do go check out strange times on iTunes and Spotify and all those places and 
Thanks for watching. Bye.